Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I wanted to share a really quick hack because I know a lot of us kind of are, you know, watching our pennies, trying to save money, being more mindful of our spending. And uh, we shouldn't let that prevent us from doing our creative, crafty expression stuff. So I wanted to share with you a little hack that uh, I've actually used before and I've been meaning to share this but um, I just kept forgetting for <laughs> whatever reason. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can sharpen your paper cutter blade at home. And, you know, if you don't have the money to buy a new blade or you just, you know, don't have access to it or whatever the case may be, uh, I'm going to show you this really easy, simple hack to help you sharpen your paper trimmer so you don't have to keep buying blades or even replace the blade. So all you need is a very simple household item and it is aluminum foil. Yes, now I know a lot of us probably remember when we were younger in school, um, our mothers or our teachers or in my case, my Girl Scout troop leader taught me this trick and it has been useful ever since. All you have to do to sharpen scissors is to cut aluminum foil. And if you have the heavy duty aluminum foil, it will work even better. Now the same trick also works on paper trimmers and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now if you don't have heavy duty aluminum foil, that's okay, regular aluminum foil will work just as well. But the heavy duty, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot thicker, and so you just kind of get more, uh, I don't know what the word would be, I guess leverage for your sharpening. <laughs> but all you have to do, now it works better when you have several layers, so I'm going to, oops, I'm going to get three layers here. And of course, any brand of aluminum foil will work. This one is just the generic Kroger brand, but I mean, whatever you have, Reynolds Wrap, Dollar Tree, whatever. Well, all you're gonna do, now this is, I have a 12 inch trimmer. And all you're literally going to do is slice the foil. You know, as many times as you feel like you need to do this, you just keep on doing it. And like I said, the more layers you have, you know, of the foil, the better it is. And when I learned this from my um, Girl Scout troop leader, she said that you need to do like five layers for the scissors, like cut through five layers of foil. But, you know, just use what you got. Use what you got. Now I did this with our household scissors because they were really dull and even my son Caden was really impressed on how well this trick worked. So there you go. Now this also works on um, like your hole punch, your corner rounders, uh, what else? I can't think of anything else, but anything that kind of has a blade or needs to be sharp in order to work properly, uh, it will work. This this little hack, this little trick will work. And I don't have any paper <laughs> that I want to cut up, but uh, let me see. Yeah, I will rip something out of here. And let's see how that is. 
Did I not press down hard enough? Okay, there it is. But you know, obviously, if your you know if your blade feels like it's still not sharp enough, go ahead and do another round of the aluminum foil. You know, back and forth, and yeah, your blade should be pretty sharp after that. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was um, you know something that you guys can use if you're trying to you know sharpen your paper cutter and you just don't have money time or the desire to buy new blades all right everyone if you have any other hacks that uh, we could use or that we all could share here in the community feel free to drop them down in the comments below okay i'll see you in the next video bye